Preloaders, VI Preloaders, welcome back to the channel. Always a pleasure to have you guys here with me. And I want to thank you guys. And I want to let you know how proud I am of you for understanding how important it is to do what we do on this channel. And that's focus on slow speed motorcycle operation because we understand it's the most important aspect of riding your motorcycle because it shows that you actually know how to ride your motorcycle and how to be the boss of your motorcycle. For those of you that have never been to this channel before, my name's Robert. I'm a retired NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle lieutenant. I did a wonderful 22 year career with the NYPD. 15 of those years were spent with the elite NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle unit. The name of this channel is called Robert Simmons Paying It Forward. And on this channel, I focus on sharing my knowledge, experience, and training that I received from the elite NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle unit with you guys and I focus mainly on slow speed motorcycle operation because as I stated, it's the most important part of riding the motorcycle because when you're riding slow, that's when you have to be the boss of the motorcycle. And by being the boss, I mean you have to be in 100% control. You have to have confidence, all right? The confidence to make right turns, left turns, and U-turns. And if you're riding around and you get that fear every time you slow down and you're putting your feet out, that shows a lack of confidence, a lack of knowledge, and a lack of skill and that's what I want to help you guys with. It's fun and nice being part of the 2% of motorcycle riders that know how to ride like that. But I want to raise that number. Okay, To me, it's all about making as many riders out there as possible feel confident and comfortable. Because as I always say, a confident rider is a safer rider. I also hold practice sessions here in Pula, Georgia, usually on a weekly basis. Okay, Those practice sessions are free to my VI preloaders. If you're interested in... Um, information on practice sessions, go to the description section in this video or any of my videos and go to where it says practice sessions and it'll answer all of the questions that you'll have regarding practice sessions. There's other information in the description section too that you guys should take a look at, but in particular I'm talking about that. If you're interested in becoming a VI preloader, which you need to be to come out and practice with us for free, all you have to do is hit the join button which is right next to the subscribe button. And if you're not um, sure that you want to become a VI preloader yet, but you just like more information on it, hit that same button and a small video will play and it'll explain to you the uh, different perks that VI preloaders get. Of course, one of them is coming out and practicing, but there's other perks that VI preloaders get. So check that out, guys. And lastly, I do understand that not everyone wants to be on YouTube when they practice or some people don't want to practice in a large group because they may feel that based on their skill level that they don't want to slow other people down um, and I did have requests for it so I did make it available and now it is available guys if you'd like one-on-one -on -one training with me you can also go to my website click on where it says private lessons okay and just follow all the information there to set that up and again that could be just you and me one-on-one -on -one. it could be you and your spouse it could be um, up to 10 people, okay? The website will explain all of that and the different prices depending on how many people and whether I travel to you or you come to me. Okay, so just do me a favor and check that out. And if that works for you guys better than coming out and practicing in a group um, practice session that's on YouTube, take advantage of it. All right, so a lot of you guys have been asking questions about Blaze. By the way, this is Blaze. This is my 2021 Road Glide CVO. Um, and people were asking me, did you sell it? Where is it? I want to see videos on it. And um, so, yes, here she is. No, I didn't sell her. But she's been sitting in this garage pretty much since I bought her. And the reason she's been sitting in the garage is because of this. I told you guys, I can't ride this motorcycle with this windshield. Because <laughs> this thing is just, uh, it's a waste of, it doesn't do anything as far as protecting me from the wind or anything else. So... I told myself I was going to wait until I got a windshield to put it on so that I can actually ride the motorcycle and enjoy it. And I'm excited to say, guys, that the windshield is here. So I want to, of course, take you guys through it, show you what I got. Okay, it's in the trunk of the car. I didn't even take it out of the trunk yet. It's still in the car, still in the box. Okay, so I haven't seen it yet. So the first time I'm going to see it, guys, is the first time you guys are seeing it as well. All right, let's go get it.
Okay. Oh, miserable out here, guys. Eh, not miserable. It's not that bad. A little humid. All right, let's open her up with the foot action. Ah, there it is, guys. Clockworks. It's actually been sitting in the trunk for about a week. All right, let's get it in the garage and we'll open up this box, show you guys what I got. All right, so let's get this box open. I'm telling you guys, I didn't, I didn't open anything. So I'm bringing you guys with me. My trunk smells like cardboard. And everything in here is hot. Right. So we got something else in here too. Okay, I think I know what that is because they told me they were gonna send me a cleaner as well. All right, so of course we have instructions and this is all, you know I love color instructions so that's always good. And then we got some stickers all right, but let's get to the good stuff. All right guys, so what I have here is, this is the nine inch sports flare clockworks windshield for the road glide. And then behind it is the 14 inch. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the nine inch on first because yes, I know everybody wants a lower windshield because it looks sportier, but at the end of the day, if it's not giving me the wind protection that I need, you know, I can't really care too much about how good it looks. If it's not, you know, the, the point is to enjoy riding the motorcycle. And I'm not going to enjoy riding the motorcycle if my face is being raked by the wind or if I'm getting excessive buffeting or if bugs and all kind of crap is hitting me in the face. So I'll try this one first. I hope it works out. If it doesn't, I got the 14 inch here that I know will work out. All right, let's get it on. And of course, guys, removing this is as simple as removing four screws. And I'm gonna leave the screws in there. And then this simply lifts right off. So Clocksworks also sent me this, it's called Shineworks. It's a cleaner and invisible coating. And um, it says that it cleans uh, and shines and protects plastic, leather, acrylic, plexiglass, Lexon, chrome, fiberglass, and paint. So why not use it here? I want to clean under where the windshield was. You know, some people might say, well, what's the big deal? You're going to put another windshield on there. You're never going to see it. Not the point. I know it. Put it on with one side. And buff it dry with the other. All right, let's get that nine inch and put it on here. All right, so that simply goes on like that. Okay, so now I'm going to sit on the motorcycle. So looking at this, I feel like it should be fine. If you don't know about Clockworks windshields, the reason they don't have to be as high as another windshield is because of the shape of the windshield. 
the fact that it comes uh, up at the tip of the windshield, it, it, uh, it curves up. So that way it pushes the wind up. So it actually gives you about two to three inches more clearance as far as the wind is concerned above the height of the windshield. And then you have the corners of it too that contour in. So it pushes wind around you. Um, so it, it's, it's supposed to not only keep wind out of your face, keep buffeting down for you, but also your passenger. And it's also supposed to keep your motorcycle grounded better, right? So you shouldn't have uh, that, that feeling when you're going by a tractor trailer or something. This is going to make your motorcycle hug the ground more. And looking at the height of this, again, all of these, the, a lot of things come into play here, not just the height of the windshield. Of course, your height, the, the height of your seat. Um, but I feel like just looking at this, I should be fine. I hope so. All right, let's take it outside, try it out. All right, guys, take it for a short ride, test it out. Looks like it's getting cloudy. It's probably going to rain again, so it's not going to take long for me to figure out if it works. Fingers crossed, because of course this is, of course I want the, I don't want to have to go to the 14-inch if I don't have to. And of course, guys, you know, exercise number four is getting us out of here. Nothing changes, and there'll be no duck walking. Gotta get used to this clutch. All right, guys, so yeah, it looks decent, but I'm getting wind in my face. Um, not so much that my eyes are tearing. Uh, I got up to about 68 miles per hour. That's fast enough for me to know if it's going to uh, be okay. And part of me was like, eh, you could deal with that, Rob. I don't really ride long distances anyway, but, you know, I don't ever want to get into a situation where I say, damn, I wish I had more protection because I'm feeling too much wind, not just on my face, but on my helmet too. So let me throw in the uh, higher one and take it back out for a ride. All right, this is the 14 inch one. Let's test it out. All right, guys, so funny story. I'm going to take off this windshield and put the nine inch back on, take it for another test ride. So I got up to about 77 miles per hour 
and of course it feels better. I still felt wind in my face a little bit. Then I remembered there's a button here that opens up this vent that's right in front of me. <laughs> so now let me test the shorter windshield, the nine inch windshield, or really it's eight and a half inches. Let me test that with the vent closed. So let me take this off, put the other one back on. <laughs> Hopefully that'll do it. Nine inch back on. Let's try it again. Hopefully that's the difference maker because I do like the way this one looks better. inch one on. First I put this one on, I was like, I still feel air in my face. Yeah. So I put the 14 inch one on and I still feel a little air. Then I forget about this damn switch here. Oh yeah. The, <laughs> the vent hood. Yeah, you got vents on the side here too. Don't forget yeah. about that. So once I closed that, just now I didn't feel much. I get it, I gotta take it on Pine Barren and get it to about 70. Yeah, take it back up there. Yeah. Get and, up there uh, speed. But usually I can feel it like right away as soon as I start moving. It feels better already with that vent closed. So it's a nice little windshield, I like that. Yeah, clockworks. So it's designed to give you about two to three inches higher than this because of this lip. Right. And yeah, then yeah. these things right here push Just it around, around you. Yeah. Both yeah. take care of you and your passenger. And also ground the motorcycle more. That's what it's designed nice. to I do. like it. Thanks. I like it too. That's why I'm hoping it's it works out. It's better than that little Oh my god. The little nothing thing. What a waste of <laughs> what a waste of uh, purely for looks that thing was. Yeah. <laughs> That does look good though. It doesn't take away from the bike. No, it doesn't at all. Yeah, you get a big, you put a big one on there. I think it'll definitely take away from. I the had bike. it on a couple of minutes ago. I yeah. just took it off. 14 inches. So uh, it was like what up to here? A little lower. A little lower? Yeah. It's not. It doesn't look bad. This just looks better. Right, guys so guess what yes much better <laughs> with the vent closed so now I still feel air on my face and that's fine I feel like I feel as much air on my face with this windshield as I do with my street glide it's not excessive my eyes are not tearing so I don't have to wear goggled uh, shades I can wear my regular sunglasses the ones that you guys always see me wear and the ones that a lot of you guys have asked me about um, I can still wear these fine. Um, and again, I got up to about 75 miles per hour, which is, you know, it's not gonna get much faster than that. And even if it does, it's not gonna make that much difference as far as the wind. Now, I also realized with this um, road glide that this vent in the fairing as well. And I know they have vent covers. You could put lights there. I'm gonna look into that too. But I'm wondering if that's also contributing to some of the air that I'm feeling. And at the same time, it's not bad feeling some air, you know, especially if it's coming from down there, because that's not going to be, well, at least I believe it shouldn't be bugs coming up and hitting me in the face. You know, it's just air. So I do appreciate that. And of course, I like the way this looks. I know you guys agree. I don't even have to ask you to put that in the comment section. But if you feel um, compelled to do so, feel free to let me know which one you like better, the 9 inch or the 14 inch. <laughs> I'm not trying to sway, persuade you to go one way, but I'm letting you know, yes, I like the way this looks. I like the way it looks a lot, you know, and yes, of course I like, the, now here's another thing too. The other windshield, the 14 inch one, forget about the looks. Um, that windshield is literally like right under my nose as far as my field of vision. And that's where a windshield is supposed to be. However, if I'm riding my street glide or my limited and that windshield's right below my eyes, it's not a problem because it's closer to me. But because this one is so far away from me, you know, I don't, it's a little odd, you know. And again, I know I, I always say your head and your eyes are looking straight ahead. Um, 
So it shouldn't matter to you um, if you can't look through the windshield, even though I could still look through this one, it's not blacked out. Um, but you still want to have the option to be able to kind of glance down for whatever reason, all right? So uh, for that reason, and of course, because of the way it looks, the nine inch is going to win this battle. So uh, I want to thank Clockworks for providing me with these windshields and giving me the opportunity to test them out to see which one worked best for me. I really appreciate that. Um, and like I always tell you guys, for me, it's practicality first, looks second. Sometimes it's a close battle, uh, but in this case, I'm happy to report that I got both. I got the best of both worlds. It looks nice and it's practical. It's going to help me out there. All right, guys. All right, let me just show you guys a close-up of the windshield. And I also want to give you um, a view of all angles. You can see the indent that I told you is right here. It swoops down and then it swoops up. That's going to bring air around you. You can see the lip at the top of the windshield that I was telling you guys about that goes up. And then you have this view. And again, this is the button I was telling you guys about that opens up the vent right there. <laughs> and then, of course, right here, you have a vent there and a vent there. So... So the nine inch is gonna win that battle. What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think. All right, so um, of course, I'm gonna recommend this windshield. I have Clockworks on my my Street Glide CVO, now I have it on my Road Glide CVO. Um, two different fairings, but same result, good looks. Um, and at the same time, I don't have to have a big, gaudy windshield uh, to ensure that the wind is blocked. This, wind sh this uh, windshield does the job, um, and I appreciate it, and of course, I recommend it. All right, guys, it's going to end it for this video. As I always say, spend more time being thankful for the things that you have and less time complaining about the things that you don't. I want to send a special shout out to my brothers and sisters in blue. Please be careful out there. Know that you're appreciated. Special shout out to the NYPD Highway Patrol Motorcycle Unit, particularly Highway 1 because that's where I worked, and the Motorcycle District because that's where the motorcycle school is. That's who taught me how to ride these motorcycles the way I ride them. But it doesn't end there, guys. You have to keep practicing. It's a perishable skill. So as I always say, practice, 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 practice. Preload and keep it loaded. And practice, practice, practice. Because practice breeds confidence, guys. And a confident rider is not only a safer rider, but a rider that's going to enjoy riding their motorcycle that much more. Till next time, guys. Exercise number two, guys. <laughs> All right, that was nice. See, it's going to be tight for me to park this motorcycle because I don't have a lot of turning room. So I might still have to do the backup one for this one. Yeah, so either I'll, either I'll have to do that every time or park like I used to park, which is pull into my walkway and just back the motorcycle all the way into the garage. But I would only have to do that for this motorcycle.